My name is Lily Noy. I am eight years old. Today, I'm interviewing Alaka Itad. What's your shoe size? Fifteen. Do you have long feet? Yeah, I could probably paddle with these. Um, do your feet hang over your bed? Uh, when I'm at home, it doesn't hang over the bed because I have a king, but I have to like lay diagonal. It's kind of weird, but when I'm at my girlfriend's house, my feet hang off like that much, like that much off the bed. And then I have to take over the whole bed. It's crazy. What club team did you first play for? The first club team I ever played for was Kulukoa. That's, uh, I don't know, do you know that club? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I played. Playing, I'm playing for that club right now. Oh, really? Yeah. What's your favorite color? Probably the color of the ocean, you know, like some sort of blue, like a bluish green. I like that color. Yeah. Or black, black and gray. <laughs> so I'm wearing all black and gray. What was your favorite snack when you were younger? Favorite snack when I was younger is probably beef jerky. I used to go to Costco, and grab some beef jerky inside of little packets, and I'd always take that to school. My dad loves beef jerky. Your dad loves beef jerky? I bet we get along real well. Do you get nervous when you play in front of big crowds at the stand, Sheriff? Not anymore. I think like my freshman year, when I first started, like at the UH, the stand sheriff was really uh, scary, walking out the first time, seeing everybody watching you. Like, it's my first time, I was kind of shaking while I was holding my heart for the Star Spangled Banner, waiting for it to play. That was, that was probably the most scary time I had at the stand sheriff. But other than that, you get used to it. Are you the tallest in your family? Yes, I am the tallest in my family. I don't know how that happened. My mom is like, 5'4", and my dad's 6'5", and every, all of my cousins are like 6'5". I thought I'd never be the tallest and ended up being the tallest. I actually had a bet with one of my cousins where if I grew taller than them, they would give me 50 bucks. Back when I was like your age, I made the bet. <laughs> and then I ended up getting taller. They still never paid up. So we'll see what happens. I'll hold them to that. <laughs> what feels better? An ace or a solo block? Solo block, 100%. You get a lot more aces, I think, throughout your career than you do solo blocks. I feel like just the way someone's soul leaves their body when you solo block them, like, oh, they messed up so badly. It's probably, it's a good feeling. If you had to pick any ice cream flavor, what would it be? Oh, I'd have to pick a... Uh, Mint chocolate chip. I like mint chocolate chip a lot. I use, I like that when I like make a milkshake. Yes, that's exactly why I picked it. The milkshake. I actually tried something recently though. I put uh, so there's caramel sauce at the house. I put caramel sauce on it. It was actually really good. You should mix it up and then put it back in the freezer. It's the trick. And then you bring it back out. It's like it's like thick ribbons of caramel inside your mint chocolate chip ice cream. How tall, like, are you actually? Six foot, nine inches. When I'm standing, do you think you could jump over me? Oh, yeah, easily. I might be able to walk over you. Hey! You cleared it by a lot. Yeah. No warm-up and slip ups. <laughs> if you had to pick a superpower, what would it be? Probably teleportation, so I wouldn't have to pay for flights anymore. I don't have to wait on six-hour flights. It's just really hard <laughs> being so tall going on an airplane. Seats are so small. You stay on there for so long. It's tiring. You gotta get to the airport early. I would probably choose to breathe underwater. Why? Um, so I could see, or uh, maybe. Look at all the different corals and fish. I think I'd use that one too. So it'd be easier to fish. You could find the fish and you wouldn't have to <laughs> stay there for hours and fish. What's your favorite thing to do in your free time? I like to cook or sleep. So I like to eat. I like to eat and sleep. 
either that or play volleyball, you know, go to the beach, relax. When you were a kid, what sports did you play? Like, my age. Your age? Played everything. Honestly, I played whatever my parents signed me up for, which was every sport. I had to play football, baseball, soccer, basketball, volleyball. Where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in Kailua. Where did you grow up? Kailua. Oh, that's how. 3-4 girl. I'm going to get you some stickers. From where? Do you know what 96734 is? No. It's our zip code, so a lot of people, like, after they get older, you know, if you want some connection to your community, a lot of people identify with, like, the last two numbers of their zip code. Kailua's is 3-4. Plus, it's the best town in all of Oahu. Everyone knows that. If you could have any hobby, what would it be? I really wish I could be a lot better at spearfishing. I wish I could actually catch fish. I don't know if it's just because Oahu is overfished. That'd be awesome if I could catch some fish and not have to pay for it. Make some awesome meals. What's something you wish you could do? Skiing. Skiing. That's a good one. Or snowboarding. Yeah. I'll go with you. I want to do that too. I've never been skiing or snowboarding. I went in, we went in December and I got to snowboard with my dad. Where'd you guys go? Mount Bachelor. Where's that? Um, Bend, Oregon. Oh, oh, nice. Oregon. Why did the farmer only raise brown cows? Why? Because he loved chocolate milk. <laughs> As a two-time national champ, and someone who's had success playing on winning teams. Growing up, is there a memorable loss or shortcoming that you learned a lot from? Yeah, there's actually a couple. You know, just growing up, playing a lot of tournaments, and you get a lot of experience playing in big moments. And sometimes when you lose, you get like this heart wrenching feeling like, oh. I can't believe I just put all that work in just to come up short. And having that feeling enough times, you either can do two things. One, pack your things up, go home, and give up. Or you can keep on trying and then try your best to work harder than everyone else so that you never have that feeling again. And I think that's kind of the route that I went. Yeah. Ooh. Lily, no, I'm right. Wait, oops. You gotta make your bets now. This is just a rabbit. What's your color, huh? I was just imagining you looking up <laughs> chocolate milk joke. Chocolate milk jokes. This is probably the first one that popped up, yeah. There were like seven of them.